Hello friends and allies and welcome to another video. Today we're gonna talk about money making in the market and this is gonna be a somewhat heavy video or just an introduction to some basic of demand and supply which works in all kind of business even in Tibia or cryptocurrency or the market. So the law of economics says the higher the price of a good the less people will demand that good. So in other words the higher the price the lower the quantity demanded. So if it's a high price less people want to buy that item but in the market we can see that when it's high demand and low supply the item will increase in value. So you need to find the items which has a high demand but a low supply and by knowing what items has that effect you will be making a lot of money on the market. So what we are going to do in this video is showing how we are going to find items which has a high demand and we're gonna make it to a low supply by buying up all the items on the market which will increase the price because we are going to be the only supplier of that item. So let's get into uh, Tibia. So let's take a look on um, some of the items which we can make some easy profit from depending on the demand and supply. And I play on the server Epoca and we just got invaded by a couple of uh, Brazilians. So they are playing with high ping and they're coming here with their main shards and a couple of makers. So what do people need when they are invading a server? They need makers and they need items for their makers and their main shards. So we're gonna take and they also need uh, imbue items for death protection. So we're gonna take a look on some of the items. So let's take a look on Couché for, for instance. So uh, the price of Couchet at the moment is around uh, 100k, so we're gonna put out ours for this price over here. But let's take a look on the items which are already sold and how I made some profit already on uh, this server. Uh, let's take a look on uh, my offers at the moment. So I'm selling Couchets, Dwarven Rings. I'm so I sold. 13 amulet of loss already for um, 20k profit and I also sold uh, let's go up a little I'm selling uh, a gloom wolf fuel, a flask of embalming fluid uh, I'm selling some summer dresses and robe of the underworld and as you can if you just take a look on the prices which I'm selling them for you see 12k each 12k each uh, 400k each so, as you can see, that's a lot of profit. We can take a look on Mitring, is as for an instance. You can see they're 4k each. And the same goes for Stoneskins. Stoneskins has been down to like 2.5k each for the last uh, half a year because of Cobras. Because of the war, they were increased in value. So, we could just buy up all these. Because uh, to buy them from NPC, is um, that's pretty much um, that's 5k each so we're just gonna put them out for this price and let's take a look on stealth ring because they are leveling their makers so you can see uh, hmm at the moment this guy over here holds the um, is owning the market of stealth ring so I will be needing to buy all of his stealth ring and then increase the value to make some profit of the stealth ring. But I think 3k each is already high enough so I'm not going to buy those. Because I don't think I will be able to make any profit unless I buy all of them. So but let, let's take a look on our offer history. So here you will see I just bought the stone skins. And you will also see what I bought uh, recently as well. So let's see. 
I bought Grasshopper Legs for 30k each. And I bought the Gloom Wolf Fuhr for 6k each. And I bought Robe of the Underworld for 130k each. And another Ghost Chestplate as well. So, you can see that I'm buying a lot of items. But let's take a look on what, what I sold as well. And you can see that I'm selling the Worm Ring for 400 GP each profit. And here you see my Amulet of Loss, which I sold for 70k each. And I sold 50 Honeycomb for um, 5k each as well. Because they need uh, to move to uh, Svarground Blessing quick. So the, the Americans need to move there. And you can see I'm selling Amulet of Loss again. So, and as you can see over here, I'm selling a Robe of Underworld for 400k. Which is a really high overprice. As you remember, I bought them for 130k each. And as you see, I sold a Grasshopper Legs for 150k. And we're selling the Emboling Fluid for 12k each. Another Grasshopper Legs. Gloom Wolf Fuhr for 12k each. Which we bought for 6k. So you see, and they are buying all the Boots of Face, which I should probably should have increased in value. And there we see another uh, 92 Emboling Fluid. Which we made, uh, I think we made uh, 1kk profit on that one, because I bought them for 1k each uh, a long time ago. And a Crest of the Deep Sea, and so forth and so forth. As you can see, it's all about the demand and supply. Because if you need, if you know what other people will need, you can demand it. And by buying up all the items on market, you are assuring that you are the only supplier and you can set the price. That means that you need to buy all the items which has a lower value than your own. So let's take a look on uh, Robe of the Underworld. As you can see over here, I have 24 of them. And I have the offer on 400k each. And these ones are, I'm not going to buy them. But if they go uh, beneath, let's say 250k, I'm going to buy them right away to control the market. And force them to buy my items for a higher price. And that's it basically that you need some money to control the market. And this is one of the best tips which I can give you, is to buy items cheap and sell them expensive. Because you could be, you could be in the spawn trying to money make, but you can also be sleeping and making money while sleeping, which is my best recommendation. So by knowing the demand and supply, you can control the market if you have some money. Which is what I'm trying to do always. So I hope um, this will help you guys to find items on your server which you can control. So by knowing how the market operates by demand and supply. You want to find an items which you can create a monopoly on and become the only supplier. By that you can increase the value of the items with a low supply and a high demand. That is my best tips for you guys. And since we got invaded, I knew which item to buy. It was imbu items and low level makers. And also items which you need for war. So I'm trying to increase the price of all war items. To make it more expensive for the enemy and for me to make money. It's good tactic to have Dominando both in the server and on the market. Because the enemies are uh, anyways just gonna be in the in the DP anyway, so why not just join them and make some money while standing there? So this was it for the video today. Know the market and you will make money. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.